How do you do it? Should should more leaders be in psychotherapy? Should they be <laughs> no. mountain climbing? What what are, what are the mechanics of, of changing a limitation? I mean, after all, if it's your own limitation, presumably, you know, you put it there. You're probably attached to it on some level. Well, unconsciously maybe, but let's just talk about how it happens. People are not one way. We are a reflection of the states we're living in. When you're in a frustrated state, an overwhelmed state, a tired state, your brain processes completely differently than if you're in a passionate state, whether you're feeling determined, whether you're feeling committed, whether you feel completely resolved. So learning to change the leader's state, learning how to change your own state. Because you know, people, one of the silliest questions I get asked is, you're not really that happy, are you? Or you have bad days, don't you? Of course they have you know, bad times. But I don't have bad days anymore, and it's not BS, it's because I've trained myself like an athlete to go in these peak states so often that they're just natural for me. It's like building a muscle. So it's not like I'm so smart or I'm just so positive. It's just like, why would I waste my time stressing out? I have a 90 second rule. I'll stress for 90 seconds, but stress is not gonna solve it. Let me put myself back in a different state. And so the way I do that is I use my body because I've done this with athletes for decades, with billionaire businessmen. If you see somebody gets in a, in a slump of some sort, great athlete, Paul Tudor Jones, one of the greatest financial traders in the history of the world, you know? I used, I've coached him for 22 years. When I came to see him, this is a man who made 200% in 1987 when the stock market had his biggest single crash in the day, percentage-wise still. He made 200% for his clients, more money than anybody could dream of. Then he went to the moon and he went down to earth and then he lost money. So I was brought in to turn him around. Well, how do you turn a guy like that around? Yeah. I watched him, his shoulders were down. He's breathing like this, he's sitting like this all the time because he'd been through these failures and it started to get stored in his body. Now in this state, this man is a genius, couldn't do it. So I watched films when he was at his best mm. and he's like standing up and he's doing this, he's this what I do, sell this, make this happen. And the movement, the intensity, the way he used his face. And so I sh showed him a video of himself today and showed him a video when he was at his best and I said, what do you notice? He goes like, those are two different people. I said, yes, but we can get back to this guy by just using the body first. Trying to use your mind, you'll go in circles. But I've been teaching for years that a radical change in your body instantly changes your biochemistry. 38 years I've taught it. Two years ago at Harvard, they did a study, scientifically proven what I've been teaching all these decades, where they, they call it power postures. Yeah, the Have Wonder seen, Woman stance. Yeah, standing right? like Wonder yeah. Woman or Superman for two minutes. Yep. Or, or like you see a guy that's like this, pull back like that for two minutes, literally increases your testosterone in your biochemistry within two minutes by 20%. It drops cortisol by 18%, which is the stress hormone, and it increases your chance of taking a more risky behavior, which is what's required of a leader, by 33%, two minutes. Now that's just standing a certain way. I show people use their voice, their body, their movement, which is 10 times more dynamic than just a stiff stance. And when you change your state, your mental emotional state, you change your performance. Haven't you had times when you have like, can't remember how to spell a difficult word like the, or your own, or your own email <laughs> really or something tired, like that? really tired, like can't remember yeah, like, like what your it is. cousin's name. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And then you've had times where you're in the flow where after you do something, you're like, mm -hmm, you know, I did that. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Absolutely. You know, I was in the flow. Well, you're the same person. The only difference is state. So training yourself to be in a peak state every day. I mean, you know, you think about like a great businessman, think of a great entertainer like um, Elton John has been around in rock and roll Just for what, birthday. like yeah. 40, how many years is yeah, it, 40 early years? 70s, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's mind boggling. And most people still like some sample of his music. Well, he's got to have days when he gets up to entertain when he thinks, if you make me sing that Daniel song one more time, I'm going postal, right? But he never does. Every single time he's in that same beautiful state. That's not because he's naturally like that. He's trained himself to do that. Like a great athlete trains himself. That's what leaders have to do. The state of the union, the state of the company is the culture. And the culture starts at the head. Whoever that leader is, their state impacts everybody else. So training yourself to be in that peak state is the key to it all. I think ferocity of spirit is critical for everybody, but we all have it. It's like a muscle. Do we all have it? Yeah, we do. Courage unused, though, becomes weaker. 
You know, uh, determination on use gets smaller, passion unexpressed gets smaller. It's like any muscle, the more you use it. And he's been using it for years. You know, his son though, here's the other thing. He had a reason larger than himself. You see the pattern in all the people that have overcome. He wanted to do for his son. At the time he was told me about his worried about all his employees and he really cares about his people. And, but here's the secret though. You have to make that shift where it's no longer an excuse. If you give yourself an excuse, humans will take it. If you're gonna take the island, you burn the boats. And he burned the boats and said, I'm gonna find the answer. First, he shifted his psychology, came to my business mastery program, and then he got the skills. Because like I said earlier, it's not just confidence. You gotta have skill, and he had both, and he found the way. Show them what you did. Elite Ocean View Realty.